From Upper Michigan Source, this is your Sports on Demand for Thursday, January 3rd. I'm Mike Ludlum. Boys High School basketball schedule gets back into action. We'll start in the Great Northern Conference where Kingsford visited Marquette. And points were hard to come by in the second quarter for Flivers coach Dan Olkin and, and his team. Tyler Pop gets the ball to Andrew Mann and Luke Tarian is turning and spinning and scoring for three. Marquette had a 23-14 advantage. Now quick passing from the Redmen. Drew Weibel, Ethan Marsh inside the Marius Grizzulis for the bucket. He ended up with 27 points and 13 rebounds. Next, Grizzulis gives the ball back to Brian Brazo. Yep, doesn't let it, Grizzulis have an assist, but he does make it on the second try. Then Grizzulis will start a fast break to Brendan Kasky, to Liam Dar. However, that is Nate Rudder steering that one out of bounds. But Marquette went on to get the victory, 69 to 67 to 49. Let's go to Nagani where the Miners were entertaining the Houghton Gremlins. Third quarter action here. George Buttvillis backs down his defender, turns and scores. Buttvillis would hit another shot to bring the Gremlins within 29 to 26. Then Jackson Sager, nice bounce pass to Jake Larson for the layup. Back the other way, Jared McClellan to Brad Serrard, who will knife between several defenders using the window nicely to get that layup. Back the other way for the Maize and Blue, Drew Lindbergh, Jackson Sager, thinks about his options and decides the three-pointer is the best option, and he puts that one in. Moments later, Jason Waterman had a steal and score. Then he drives down the lane to get this hoop, and Nagani is your winner, 61 to 48. Meanwhile, in the Skyline Central Conference, how about Carney Nato and Bark River Harris? And some good defense here and some good outside shooting when there is an opportunity. And Bo Kaufman early in the second half knocks down three of his 15, 28-14 Carney Nato. Max Baumler will hit a three a short time later, 39-25 Wolves. Baumler had five triples and had 19 points, but he fouled out late in the game. Then Carter Zawaki to Willie Schmidt and Parker River Harris's dwindling that deficit 44 38 Carney Nail still leads late in the game Hunter Debelak will score here but there's less than five seconds to go Carney Nato didn't have to inbound the ball and Bark River Harris didn't have any timeouts left and Carney Nato hangs on the win 46 to 44. To the scores, Foster Wonders had 21 points for Iron Mountain 60 to 22 over Westwood Bessemer 68, Republic Michigami 24. Matt Ojala had 24 points for Calumet. However, Lance had four players in double figures and a three point upset, 60 to 57. Jeffers 51, Berriga 33. Davin Hill had 21 points for Dollar Bay. Blue Bolts 83, Lake London Hubble 44. Antonagan 78, Waters Meet 51. Forest Park needed overtime before pulling away and defeating Norway 56 46. North Central 60, Stevenson 53. Quentin Ackerman had 22 points for North Dickinson. Nordic 60, Mid Peninsula 42. On the girls side, Menominee 72, Stevenson 39. Four players in double figures for Westwood 58 35, taking care of Calumet. Gwynn, 48, Munising, 42. A big fourth quarter for Lance enables the Purple Hornets to rally past the UN Trout Creek Panthers, 49-46. Wakefield, Marinesco, and Hurley both had easy victories. Elsewhere, it was Hancock, 43, Ishpeming, 38. Sault Ste. Marie downs Traverse City West, 56-51. And Florence finally has a breakout night, defeating White Lake, 84-17, the Springer. Sisters, twins, combined for 45 points. Now we move to the Great Lakes Intercollegiate Athletic Conference. The NMU women defeated Wayne State 69-56. Birthday woman Erin Hunkel had 14 points and 10 rebounds off the bench. Jessica Schultz had 13 points for the Wildcats. Uh, the rest of the GLIAC did not go too well. The NMU men shot 30% from the floor and 10% from three-point land. Uh, Wayne State won 73-51. Michigan Tech women lost to eighth-ranked Ashland 82-58. Ellie McKay and Hannah Hobson each had 13 for the Huskies. North Central's Dawson Bilski had 15 for the Tech men, but Ashland also good on that side, 67-44. 
Lake Superior State swept by Davenport. Lexi Cohn had 17 points for the Laker women, but they fell 75-64. The Laker men had 26 turnovers, and the Panthers won that game 82-60. Hark! The Finlandia women's basketball team is in the win column, 75-44 over Great Lakes Christian. Ishpeming's Mariah Austin scored 25 points and 17 rebounds in her debut with the Lions. Now, you might call this back to the future, but you should probably call it forward to the past. The Manistique swimming team and the Ishpeming Nagani swimming team met in a pool that hadn't been used in quite a while. And the fun part about it, one, two, three, four lanes. This is the girls 200 medley relay. The lanes go from one through four starting at the bottom of the screen and yes, the ceiling is quite low compared to modern pools. It's believed the facility is built in the mid 1920s. Now the Ishpeming Nagani team officially is called the Sharks and coach Gus Reedholm says it's taken about four years to get things rolling thanks to help from the athletic directors and volunteers at the schools. And this pool has not been used for a high school swim meet for 25 years and it's an opportunity to kind of do something a little outside the box. It's an opportunity for two of the smaller programs in the Upper Peninsula to go head to head where team depth really doesn't come into play. So from a, a swimmer's point of view, it's, it's best on best. And from a coach's point of view, it's an opportunity to find out uh, how well you coach, not just your faster swimmers, but your developing swimmers. Now, the Ishpeming Nagani Cooperative also includes Gwyn and Republic Michigami, but those two districts do not have members on the team at this point. Ishpeming Nagani won both meets. The boys' score was 36 34. The girls' score was 52 41. The Ishpeming Nagani girls set a pool record that dates back to 1980 in the 200 freestyle relay with Annika Turvo, Amaro Walner, Jaden West, and Mackenzie Van Buren. An Upper Peninsula Sports Hall of Famer from the Western UP and the class of 1993 has died. Wayne Melchiori passed away December 28th in Shakopee, Minnesota. Melchiori was an All-State football player and basketball player for Stambaugh High School in the late 1940s. He was a three-year varsity football player from 1950 to 52 at the University of Michigan. He received the Fielding H. Yost Award. He served in the United States Navy in the mid-1950s in San Diego. He moved to Dearborn, Michigan, from Dearborn, Michigan to Ironwood to become a teacher and football coach in 1959. He led the Red Devils until 1976 on the gridiron, a 98-43-4 record. He was selected into the Michigan High School Football Coaches Hall of Fame in 1982. He was the Michigan All-Class Coach of the Year in 1965. Melchiori retired as athletic director and assistant principal in 1990. He was married for 62 years to Adele, and he has four surviving daughters and many other relatives. Wayne's memorial service and life celebration will be on May 25th of this year at Salem Lutheran Church in Ironwood. Wayne Melchiori was 88 years old. A resident from Southern Florence County in Wisconsin is a finalist for the Ultimate Packer Fan 2018. Amy Nelson is from Fence, Wisconsin. Amy is an adult with Down syndrome and she is a dedicated Packers fan no matter the outcome of the game. From memorizing player jersey numbers to committing the annual schedule to memory, Amy has an encyclopedic memory of all things Packers. At home, she's the head cheerleader on game day, checking in to see who will be watching and who will be rooting for the Packers and convincing them to root for the Packers no matter what. By kickoff, she has taken her seat in the front row to watch the game unfold. Clay Matthews is her favorite player. If you want to vote for Amy or any of the candidates, you can go to a link on our website at UpperMichiganSource.com. Couple other notes from the world of hockey. Former Michigan Tech Husky Blake Piedla has been recalled to join the New Jersey Devils. He's been in the minor leagues this season. And former NMU goaltender Jared Carroll has been traded from Anaheim 
to St. Louis for future considerations. And another note from college basketball, the Connecticut women's 126 game winning streak has disappeared because Baylor beat them last night.